Welcome to today's video. This video was quite a production. This is almost a month of work in one 15 or so minute video. I'm not exaggerating when I say for not one, not two, three entire years, my mom has been working on decluttering this one room in her house. Nobody goes in this room, nobody really knows what's in here, but it's been a constant source of stress for her. She's always talking about it. And somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew that this project would never be tackled unless I came over myself and did it for her. So let's head on over now and check out the space. All right, so here we are in the clutter room, as I like to call it, my she cave. Why don't you give us a little tour of what we have in this room? Okay, we have my favorite. This is my favorite room, so my favorite clothes. No question, is this your only closet or this is just a portion of your closet? Oh, okay. It's just a portion. And then shoes, favorite purses. Okay, and then we have makeup. And then behind this makeup is more makeup more clothes and more shoes, more makeup, snacks, my TV. I decided I'm obsessed with brushes because I have all brushes. And then so on this side is more clothing, books, uh, more makeup, and hair products. So yeah, so are you, are you going to be okay with letting a lot of it go? I am. You're I ready? Am. I'm ready. Do you consider yourself a hoarder? No. What do you consider yourself? Someone that likes things. <laughs> a collector. So what is your vision or goal for this space? I would like this to be a minimalist with maximum stuff. Is that possible? <laughs> Wait, what? So the goal is we're just going to go through here, get the best of the best, your top favorite, can't live without makeup, clothing, shoes, purses. Phase one, we're going to declutter. Phase two, we're gonna reorganize. All right, so we are going to start with our first category of items, and I think that should be makeup. Okay, so is this where the majority of your makeup is? Makeup, 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 behind those doors where you keep shoes, I was putting makeup in there, and then over there. And then behind here- oh, We're still going. Is makeup, like what? all these, Cabinets. Oh, so we have a uh, very serious makeup situation. Given the sheer volume of makeup you currently have, I think our goal is enough makeup to fill these two right here. Okay. Do you think this is a reasonable amount no. that fits in there? No. You want two more? Well, these are already full, and I have there, 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 there. Okay. You gotta start somewhere. We're gonna start with this box. So shop your stash. Just pick out the things that you yeah. need. Pat McGrath. What are your two brands that you like the most? Charlotte Tilbury and Hourglass Makeup. Okay, so you're probably going to want to focus on those. Yeah. They're all great, but since I have to be brutal. Now, are you choosing like the product that you actually use or the brands that you like? Brands? <laughs> <laughs> See, now look at such a beautiful palette. Like, how could I not keep this? This is a... Question for you, why are these all still in their outer boxes? Because they're special, you know, like Pat McGrath. I mean, but come isn't, on, is isn't this that not gorgeous? Isn't gonna make it harder for you to use it because no, it's in a box? No, because you make it like a special occasion. Okay, like this. do you want to keep the boxes? Oh yeah. Maybe I can give some of these to your subscriber. Maybe Ooh. we can do a giveaway at the end. So this phase took approximately two weeks and I would come in every day or so to check on her progress and assign her more homework. So they've been working on this the past few days. I've been out of town. So we took down this second shelving unit. There was a whole other shelf, if you remember here, to store extra stuff. That's gone. And I gave away like 10 boxes already. Well, now we have to box the rest of it up, move it out of here. What were those books you have there? The Overspent American 
31 days to declutter free, <laughs> overstuffed. I think it's funny that those books were buried in clutter. <laughs> the feeling that I can't shake is that some of the stuff she wasn't actually decluttering and she was just hiding it in other rooms of the house. Are you or are you not just moving stuff out of the room and hiding it from me? I am not. I mean, I might be hiding some stuff at the moment until I've had a chance to thoroughly go through it and get rid of it. I'm talking with her about we need to remove some of the storage and shelving units because if they're there, they're just gonna get filled up with more junk. Really? <laughs> really, Mom, this made the cut? This part of the process, I have to say, was fun for me. I found some really great hidden gems. We have the uh, pleather bucket hat. We got a head massager. Oh, we also found, probably my number one favorite item, was a wig attached to a headband. Okay, as we were decluttering, we found this. Mom, oh my gosh, you guys, she's trying to justify keeping this. <laughs> that has gotta go, Mom. How are you feeling in decluttering it? It was extremely stressful. It took me maybe three or four days to realize this was really good, that I needed to go through everything. I needed to get uncomfortable in order to kind of get my life back. Okay, so your homework assignment is, the next time I'm back here, everything out of the room, except you can my have book. the books here. Everything else I want out. So the decluttering part of this process took about two full weeks. I had so much footage, I kind of just showed you the highlights. This is what it looked like at the halfway point when we had mostly removed everything from the room. Now moving on to phase two, the reorganization. This is the part I was personally most excited about. Here's a really awesome thing, is we did not have to spend much money at all because she already had so many different storage options in this room. This area is going to be my mom's artist studio. She likes to paint and draw, so we're going to put her art supplies down here in bins, more art supplies, and set this up to be a little studio. This area is going to be her fashion corner. These containers, we're going to put her everyday top shelf makeup items. Over here is going to be her makeup collection storage, and you can see I already had her pick up these containers from the container store. They're really nice acrylic containers. So I'm gonna go through and label what's gonna go in each of these. And then her homework is going to be to start filling them up. Okay, so we've just been sitting here for about 20 minutes devising a plan of what's gonna go where in here. So that should be plenty of space for her makeup collection. So we are working on the makeup collection organization. We have these really nice clear bins from the container store. But the problem is with these clear containers is you can see all the mess inside. So they need to look more organized. So what we have for that, drawer dividers. And these ones, see how cool these are? They're adjustable. Oh, I like that. So they that. can fit into any size drawer and you can configure them how you want. So what do we have in this one? In here, eyeshadow and mascara. Now, one point of contention that we keep running into is my mom likes to keep her products in the boxes. I do not think that's functional, but as a true collector, it makes it more special when it's in the box. It's, how does it affect the usability? Well, it cuts down on fingerprints. Wait, what is this? It's an eyeshadow shield. What is this? Have you ever used that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever going to use it? Yes. <laughs> Start stacking these in here nicely. Hold on, hold the phone. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six of the same mascara in a box. Is that my favorite mascara or what? If there were a zombie apocalypse, I think you'd be set. The craziest thing about this whole, whole project is that her daughter, me, I literally own one eyeshadow palette, two foundations, one mascara. Like, I have that one I made or two. You. Mini. Oh, mini. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> then we have five mini versions of that same mascara. Mom. <laughs> well, I'm taking at least one. This is the approach we're doing with all of the makeup drawers. We're putting our drawer divider, stacking everything nicely, and then for the best part of any organization project, 
Labeling. Have you ever used a label maker? Yes. Most people, when they're using a label maker, they just print this label, kind of basic, kind yeah. of boring, put it on there, right? So, little easy tip, get prettier label stickers and then stick your label onto here. So it still looks nice and uniform. Wow, look at this. Okay, so here's one of our makeup drawers, subdivided, labeled, organized. So now we're gonna do the rest. Okay, we're back hours later. New little project for this whole section, we need to label all of these bins. But again, just putting the labels on here doesn't look as visually nice. So I picked up these cute tags from Amazon and we're gonna hang them on here. Hey, look at this, everybody. That's nice. Also needed to point out, while we're in here decluttering all this fabulous makeup, I scored myself a stash. Finally got all the labels on this. This took over an hour. Our classical music going. My mom keeps coming up with excuses every three to five minutes to leave the room. Also, learned that hoarders really don't like you questioning them or being up in their business. Have I annoyed you through this process? Yes, you have. Okay, my mom is starting to get sassy on me here. I have her putting the labels on. Isn't it fun? So much fun. Okay, so I'm working away and I just found a random bag full of wigs. And the final finishing touch that I had to add in this room was my Vassour diffuser. This just looked beautiful in the room. We could bring some nice aromatherapy in here. And I decided to put some lavender, bergamot, and frankincense in the diffuser, nice and calming and relaxing. And that is the vibe we want in this room. Also wanna point out that the diffusers will be back in stock this week, so you can place your orders now. If you want one down in the description box, I will put the link. Are you guys ready? Just to remind you, let's take a look of what the room looked like before with all the stuff in here. And really, I don't think this footage does it justice because so much of the stuff was hidden. Okay, now it's time for the big reveal. Now, she's been working on the room, but I put all the finishing touches, finished the room. So this is her first time seeing it all together. Guys, keep them closed. Ready, one. Two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. can't wait to mess this up again. A mom. <laughs> so first we're gonna look at this back wall, which is her accessories and clothing area. So on this entire top shelf are all of her handbags organized. Then in the middle two shelves are different clothing items. So tops, pajamas, pants, all different types of clothing items she wants to have accessible downstairs. And then the entire bottom row of bins are shoes. You can see we have our nice custom labels. I think it just really ties it together and visually makes it look really nice and streamlined. So on the top here, I have a few of her favorite things. She loves Audrey Hepburn. Il Devo is her favorite band. She's crazy over them, so pictures over there. Then I have the Hotel Del Coronado. That's her favorite place to go. Some flowers and other pretty things. Over here is the new area we put together, which is the artist's corner. I have an easel set up with some paint, a pretty picture back here, and then all of her art supplies are down below. We have her everyday makeup brushes in these two pretty crystal bowls. And then in these Ikea Alex drawer systems, that's her everyday makeup and skincare products that are all organized in here. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the room. Over here is her book collection. These are all of her all-time favorite books that she did keep in her little library. The makeup storage organization over here. So let's walk through how I have this all set up. Okay, so up on top here, we have our Overflow Charlotte Tilbury and Hourglass Makeup. Moving on down, we have our concealers and eyeliners. Moving down, we have our eyeshadow and mascara. Our huge box of foundations here. 
Now moving on down, we have our bronzers, highlighters, powder, and blushes. Down here, we have all of our lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip pencils, and also nail products. On the bottom, we just have two bins that she can use for overflow or miscellaneous. And these bins over here are all of her extra makeup brushes. There's quite a lot. Then I had to put my signature touch in here with my collection of essential oils and this beautiful diffuser. Now, not only does the room look more calm and inviting, it smells more calm and inviting. All right, so what did you guys think? This took so long, it was such a difficult process, but it's so satisfying and I'm happy to help my mom out. What was the hardest part of this process for you? The hardest part I would have to say is to realize when you took a video of the room, I had no clue that's what it looked like. You normalized the clutter. I, yes. When I saw that video, I was like, oh my God, the hoarder lives there. How does it feel now having the room clutter free and organized? Beautiful. I feel like I've lost 10 pounds, seriously. We've also collaborated for a little giveaway for you guys. You know I had to get you some of this good makeup stash. So my mom is going to give away two giant mystery boxes full of makeup. All you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to my channel and share this video on Twitter or Facebook. I'm going to tweet it out on my Twitter, so you just have to retweet that and you will be entered. I'm going to pick a winner in three weeks from today. I will have all the other information down in the description box. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see me continue this series, please give this a thumbs up and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.